Hey creative friends, it's Sonia Miller with Junk Monkey Paint Company and today I'm going to show you how to achieve this look. Now I call this a super chippy look and I love creating pieces that feel like they've been around forever, that layers upon layers of paint over the years have been added to a piece and this is the end result. I'm gonna show you all the steps I did to achieve this look. This was a project that I just finished yesterday and I'll tell you all about it. This is how the project started. It is an old door that has been repurposed into a headboard. It's gorgeous and right now it just has a coat of white paint onto it. That is it. You can see, you know, just the age of the door when you look at it up close. It's not perfect, but you know what? That's what we're going for, an imperfectly perfect look. So this is gonna play in quite nice to our project today. So my customer is a young gentleman and he told me, Sonia, I want it to look like it's been around forever and you can really see the chippiness into it. Tons of colors showing through. And I also asked him what his top primary colors he wanted to see at the end which were navy black and some red so my goal was an uber chippy look for this headboard a custom look but um, the final colors like i said being that so the first color i'm picking up is my junk monkey pink color called midnight blue and i'm basically putting splashes of blue all over this white headboard and in no real manner just to kind of start to to get some color onto it you got to start somewhere sometimes a blank canvas can be scary to us painters but you gotta just start with you know a foundation of something so let's go ahead this is a white canvas put some midnight blue onto it i'm also using my water bottle and i'm also using a plastic um, putty knife and it allows me to put the paint down and then kind of scrape over it it's picking up all the characteristics of the door all the old current existing layers of paint on this door the texture that it has I'm not trying to sand it off I'm going to utilize it to really create and play into this old look I'm creating you're also seeing me take some Liberty blue it's another blue color and I think I'm going to add some of this in as well. So we've got the midnight blue, we got the liberty blue, and I know I'm going to be finishing off with a navy. So I wanted to lay some blues down that will be part of that color family, but also create some highlights and low lights and play into the blues. You're my music, but you tear me to pieces. So where does it come from? Scene that keeps playing on repeat ignores the rule of thumb. Oh, where does it come from? And this is super fun because we start to bring in some color, and I'm choosing a color called gingerbread. It's a really cool, rusted orange look. Wait until you paint it black. I let it burn, you call the fire brigade, but I feel that it palette knives and putty knives um, if you have old like old uh, expired plastic cards anything like that can give you some really cool distressed looks so I think every painter should just have something like this in their stash for days like this when you're looking for to create these old looks so now we're adding some red apple in as well remember red ding 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 this was one of the colors um, that my customer was looking for so I've got to add a little spice in there so we got some orange now let's add in some like I said some red apple and really start to see this pop again where I end Here I'm being mindful to add in some black, so I am choosing black velvet. And now I'm adding in um, this dark color all around, and this is gonna create 
bit of a shadow um, antiqued kind of look. So this is how I'm choosing to incorporate the black. I'm going to, you know, putty knife it around, just kind of drag it around, but I am also going to outline all those crevices with it as well. Okay, I'm getting ready for the next step. So I'm pulling out my Junk Monkey Milk Paint. It's the stuff that loves to chip over glossy surfaces. And I'm mixing up a navy color. I gotta mix it up and let it set. Our navy is ready. The idea is all these colors will show through when the chips of the navy, navy fall off. Now, how do we make the milk paint um, chip? because we know it likes to chip and act up, Miss Petunia Monkey over glossy surfaces, but we've got lots of layers of our clay mineral resin paint on right now, so it will grab on really well. Well, we have a secret ingredient. We have monkey shine. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna put a layer of monkey shine on, and then we're not going to wipe it off. Then we're gonna go ahead and put Miss Petunia Monkey here, the milk paint on top of that, and what will happen is that as it dries, it will flake and chip. And then we're able to go in with, say for example, like a palette knife or something like that. And we can do some scraping, we can do some distressing with a sand block. And um, the final reveal will be the colors coming through. Let's get this all saturated with the monkey shine. This is a um, oil wax finish but we're gonna use it to be a resist for the milk paint. I think that I'm going to hide it Somewhere by a gate it starts Baby, they ain't never gonna find me I'm a renegade uh, I could be the one who saved you from this hard place We could be as one and we'll escape We could run away, we don't gotta stay I can feel that it burns inside me Take away the pain, we can go insane I can feel that it burns inside me We could run away, we don't gotta stay I can feel that it burns inside me Take away the pain, we can go insane Trust me, I won't let you down the resist happening over here and that's how we're gonna get that chippiness that we love
So here we are she is done and uh, this was done and picked up the same evening so I'm so excited because my customer Max loved his headboard definitely a one-of-a-kind statement piece it's one of those things that you have in your room I think that you know your eye is automatically going to be drawn to and it's probably going to be a conversation starter so just a really cool unique headboard and I can definitely say that nobody else out there has the same headboard as Max, that is for sure. So hopefully it inspires you to do your own take. Remember, you can use light colors and neutrals uh, for a shabby chic, more softer feel, or just go with some more pronounced colors, darken it at the end, have your light colors come through, or vice versa. You know what, just, just play with it. Go bananas. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys again real soon.